Rosa here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I'm sorry this video is coming at you a little bit later than I said it would be. Um, I've been really poorly. It was rubbish. I spent um, New Year's Eve in bed, which I've never done before, and I really hope to not do again because it's like, it's just one of the most depressing nights to be, you know, as you know asleep or feeling rubbish in bed by yourself. So that was a bit of a shame. Um, so that is why this video is a little bit later, but I'm here now, which is lovely. It's really nice to talk to you guys again. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a review of the year, which again, I said I would do in my last video, and it's something which I've always done over on my blog. Before I started vlogging, I would do a review of the year, and I find it really helpful, um, kind of to help me to plan for the future as well, and to kind of, I really enjoy reflecting on, um, what I've been doing and what I've learned. I find it really rewarding and really nice just to see what you've done and what you've learnt um, over, a, over you know, a long period of time, like a year. Um, so what I've got here, I've got my iPad here, and um, it's probably very hard for you to see, but I've got up my blog post, which I wrote last year, which was my, in this, my, you can see the reflection of the, our lace curtains in the screen. Um, so I'm going to be looking at that, and I've used the um, subheadings which I used for that last year to um, kind of give me talking points for this video for my review. So before I start, let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. I am wearing something, <laughs> something I made last year, actually. Um, this is a scarf I got in the H&M sale. I just really liked the colour and it's velvet. Um, I obviously could have made this myself because it's not particularly difficult, but I liked the colour and it was just a few pounds. And I like how it's sort of long and skinny. It reminds me of the scarves I wore when I was at school. It was a big trend for like long skinny scarves. These trends come around again. I'm just wearing a black t-shirt, a little badge, which is from um, a small brand. Oh, I can't think what their name is. And they're called Sidewinder. I'll put a link down below and a little pinafore dress which I made myself. This is before I made this last year. This is before I had the gorgeous Cleo pattern, but I do still really like this one. I do wear it, it's a bit more fitted. This is actually a simplicity skirt pattern which I just made a bib and straps and attached. So, yeah, it's a really cute little pinny actually. It's really handy. Um, yeah, it's really handy to wear. I really like it. So, I thought I would look back at what I said I wanted to do this year and see if I've actually achieved it. So if I scroll down here, I said, because I made so many dresses in 2015, that I didn't want to make many in 2016. Now that obviously didn't happen. Or well, I would say that I probably made fewer than I did last year. I haven't actually counted to one, so I do think I've made a few. So I've said that, but I also really wanted, um, and it was a conscious effort which I made, and I think I've achieved this one, but I wanted to make my wardrobe, my handmade wardrobe, far more practical, and that's I think that's something I've achieved because I've been making lots of little jumper dresses, little pontaroma, you know, slip on pond um, jumper dresses, and I love them. And I've also made, well, I've conquered my fear of sewing with jersey, so I've made lots of Agnes tees, I've made some Agnes tee dresses. So I do think I've achieved sort of, both of those goals. I've still made a lot of dresses, but I have made my wardrobe quite a lot more practical. So I, I'm really pleased about that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is new techniques I have learned. I'm going to be putting some photos in here. I haven't actually got any garments to show you because there was just too many and I thought I'd spend hours ironing and then I would probably lose momentum to actually film this. So I've decided to just put pictures in for this video. So new techniques learned. My number one is shirt making. Now this is quite a recent thing for me. So if you've watched my Christmas present video, you'll know I made quite a few shirts for Christmas presents this year and that's something which I'd previously put off. And I'm so proud that I actually bit the bullet and did it properly and realised it really isn't actually that hard and I've actually been making something with cuffs for myself which I will be showing you soon and it's very exciting so particularly the cuffs because I've done a collar stand before but it was the cuffs with the split opening and I'll, get, I'll put some photographs in here so you can see that's what I found for some reason so intimidating and like really put off doing so I'm really proud that I did that. Another new technique which I've learned is um, to do a sway back adju adjustment on trousers. This is something which Lisa Comfort told me about when I um, met her at the, one of the fairs, I think it was their what, oh, knitting and stitching show. Knitting and stitching show. I met her there and I was I bought the um, ultimate trouser pattern from her and I'll put a picture in here if you don't know what it looks like and a picture of the version which I made and I bought some lovely spotty fabric off her as well. 
and um, yeah I absolutely love those trousers and they are really really easy to make once you know how to make that adjustment to fit to the size of your ass and that was my issue <laughs> now I've done that I love them and they're, I'm, I'm really really pleased with them and I'm actually hoping to make another pair this year and the last thing I think, and the last skill I should say that I've improved, is my timetabling. Again, this is something I spoke about in my video when I um, discussed um, when I discussed my Christmas presents. With, is the way that I manage my time so I can get lots of things done in a, in a very organised way. So I would every day or most days I usually timetable my day in, time timetable a day or two off a week so I don't go insane and get callous fingers or whatever. But um, yeah, I think that's something I've really improved. I think that's probably because I'm so, so much more grown up now. I'm proper grown up, <laughs> sort of. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Oh, and also Jersey. I didn't even write that down, but jerseys. But speaking of um, making the Agnes tees, I love the Agnes tee pattern. And I would, again, I'll put a picture in here. I would highly, highly recommend it to anybody who wants to start sewing with Jersey. And um, Tilly is an online course, which you can take anywhere. Um, which I haven't taken but I've heard very good reviews of but the, if again if you don't want to, you know if you can't afford the course the actual booklet that comes with the Agnes top is really it really taught me how to do it so that was great and now I've made loads so I would say that I think so my next um, category so we've done new techniques is the most challenging make now last year I have to show you this because I got it in my blog post from last year my most challenging was my bridesmaids dresses and I was so proud of them. Let me zoom in. This is only four of the five which I made, but there we are. Don't we look cute? You know what? I'm going to put a proper photo in here because that looks a bit weird. But that was my most challenging last year. I didn't do anything quite that special this year, which is a shame. But, you know, your friends can't get married every year. You can't be a bridesmaid every year. So this year I'd say the most challenging was... A, was December because of the quantity of things in which I I did and I've already spoken about my timetabling so I think just all the presents that's probably my most challenging thing but also most challenging for me is um, stopping buying fabric and that's going to be one of my resolutions I think to start sewing my stash because I, I yeah I honestly like I don't I was saying the other day, I don't remember who I was talking to, but I walk into shops now, I used to love shopping and buying things, I walk into shops now, like I had a pop around the shops the other day to you know, check out the end of the sale, see if I get any bargains, and I got my, my scarf, but I don't find shopping exciting at all anymore, and I used to love it, and I think, I, the only thing I, find, I feel excited buying is patterns, and fabric and I think it's because in, it's different to buying clothes when you buy clothes you buy it and that's it it's kind of the end of the process whereas if you buy fabric and patterns it's like the beginning and it's the excitement of oh my god what am I going to turn this into and yeah I, I find it overwhelming like I can't sleep sometimes because my mind is just like whirring with ideas of what I could do <laughs> that's probably makes me a bit sad but hopefully some of you will be with me like I just I, I find it exciting in a way which nothing nothing in a ready to wear shop can be like it just can't be so yeah that's probably going to be a new challenge for me is to stop buying fabric and get a grip <laughs> um but yeah christmas was definitely my most challenging sewing this year um my most worn is my next category most worn garments which i've made this year number i've got five here so i've done my most worn five so i'm kind of cheating um number one my blue clear dress and this was my first one my pattern test one in blue needle cord i have worn that thing to death and it still looks great i absolutely love that it just goes with everything i can chuck it on go to work go to a party it, it goes anywhere and I sound like an advert for the Cleo dress, never mind, <laughs> make a change there. Number two is my stripey uh, tea dress, so this is one of my Agnes tea dresses. That, which I hacked into a dress, I just wore, not so much now because it's too cold, but in um, the summer and the autumn I wore that thing at least once a week, probably more so if it was clean, so I loved that really casual and you know I love my stripe. Um, my leopard print coat which is a simplicity pattern, I can't think of the name but I'll again insert an image so you can see it. Um, I love my leopard print coat, I wore it yesterday and I'll put that picture in too and I just, it always makes me feel cool. I adore Alexa Chung as many of you know and that makes me feel like I'm her. I'm not, sadly, but <laughs> I just think it's really cool. Um, also my camel coat, you see coats always become my most worn things because it is your outfit in the winter and that's why I love coats. Now my camel coat is my most worn coat at the moment, it's the best one for winter. The leopard one's fine, it's, it's a Velboa, I think is the name of the fabric, I'm probably saying that wrong, Velboa I think is how you say it. 
and it's really lovely and soft but it's not necessarily the warmest so my camel coat is my go-to coat at the moment um another simplicity one same pattern but i that has um uh, no collar so it's just a uh, very 60s buttons down the front love that style and my last most ma most worn are my anoraks so my quick sew anoraks which i made two i made a yellow and a navy to be honest the navy one is probably my most worn though because yellow doesn't necessarily go with everything but i prefer the yellow one because it's a yellow anorak and that's loads of fun so those are my five most worn my cleo dress my striped tea dress and three different coats because yeah they're all just practical things and i think I, I will do another video when I make plans for next year and I kind of think about what I could because when I sew I don't want to ideally make things that I'll wear once you know <laughs> I don't want to invest like five hours in creating something and then never wear it so I want to as always move forwards and think about things which I will wear all the time and I'm probably going to be making less in 2017 but making things which are better and I think that's probably quite a common resolution to make resolution i've seen i like that um so yeah i think that's probably what i'm aiming towards so next my favorite make of 2016 it it's, it's too many to choose from i'm going to choose three and that's a total cheat and a total cop out but they're all made with the same pattern so i think that counts or patterns more than one so my first is my dress which i made which has the, it's the combination of the two new look patterns and those are my most those are my favorite dresses because they just are the they have the wow factor and when you put them on you're like yeah i feel like i can achieve something today my first is the one made with fabric for my boyfriend's mum which is the blue and white stripes and it has massive flowers on it she got it for me from italy and i'm going to italy this year so i'm hoping to buy some beautiful fabric just said i'm going to try and stop buying fabric but you know you're on holiday you've got to get a piece to remember the holiday by i adore that dress uh, second is the artist's tree dress, which I made in the, sa the same uh, pattern, but I, again, I mix with the same two new look patterns, which again, I'll link down below and I'll insert a picture. And I use the Liberty Artist's Tree fabric, which I got for my birthday, and I just love it. I feel very pretty in that one. And the last one, which probably is my ultimate favorite, is the version of the same patterns I made in the star print um, the star print viscous fabric and that's because it ended up on the front cover of Susie magazine and I was really proud that that was the dress that was on the front cover of our first issue and it's a dress which I love wearing I wore it to the launch party as well I love it I just love that dress I feel cool and it was inspired if you don't know by Kate Moss's birthday dress which she wore to her I think at her 30th birthday party so it's a little, couple of years ago now and I adore it so yes um, most used patterns, my next category, I've got three my most used patterns. Obviously, it is um, that dress, <laughs> those dress patterns. So those two new look patterns, one which I use the wrap bodice from, and one which I use the sleeve and the circle skirt from. My next would be the Clio. Um, that only came out in, what, October, and it's already one of my most used patterns. I think I made four, so that's a lot of Clios. Um, and then the last is the Agnes tops. So two chilling the buttons patterns there, and I think that says a lot is that her patterns are incredibly wearable and practical, but still super cute because she puts really nice little design details in. And yeah, I also I like the fact that I've got two new look patterns in there because I think it's nice to show that you know you don't need to always follow the exact instructions. You don't need to do exactly what it tells you to do. And I like combining pattern pieces. So that's what I did there. And I think you can create something really cool. And my last category of this review video is my best selfless sew. We all know I don't do a lot of selfless sewing. But my personal favourite selfless sews were Josh's, my boyfriend's shirts, which I made him for Christmas. The Liberty Tunnel Lawn, the Dragon Easter shirt, and the Heads and Tails shirt. I love them. I love how they fit him. And I love that he wears them a lot because it makes me feel really proud. And like, I did a good thing. Um, and that's really nice. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think, and also I love Liberty. That's another thing. I got quite a few pieces of Liberty fabric for Christmas from my boyfriend, very, very kindly. So I'm so excited to share those with you. I'm gonna do another video, a haul video, where I show you some of the bits I got for Christmas, and sewing bits, obviously, not just anything. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you some of the things I got for Christmas, the fabrics and sewing-related goodies, and also some of the bits I picked up in the sales, because Liberty has a sale on and um, I did order something <laughs> so I can match Josh now so you'll have to wait and see <laughs> you can probably guess because 
it was one of those fabrics that the more I worked with it, the more I fell in love with it. And that doesn't often happen. Usually it's the total opposite. The more you work with a fabric, the more you're like, I literally don't want to see this ever again. Uh, <laughs> particularly if it's something like labor intensive and you're like really stressed about getting it right. You know, like I was a little bit about the shirts. They were quite tricky for me. Um, yes, so I now can have a matching outfit with him. Just what he always wanted. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today, guys. I really hope you had a wonderful and happy new year, and I hope you're having a lovely January so far, sewing up lots of things, distract yourself from the weather. Um, if, you, if it's anything like it is here where you are, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.